In this video, I want to show you guys a free cryptocurrency created by Stanford PhDs. This is a cryptocurrency that you can receive for free with no hidden costs and also no additional worries. I want to break down this project for new viewers and even for those who have been with the project for a while. The goal of this video is to provide my viewers with information on exactly what they're getting themselves into. This will be a fast and also comprehensive video about Pi. One of the reasons I love talking about Pi is because the cryptocurrency has virtually zero risk to any holders. Unlike other cryptocurrencies, Pi hasn't been released to the public and earning the token is a matter of pressing a button on your phone. The community project started back in 2019 by Dr. Kakalis, Dr. Fang, and also Vince McPhillip. The project started on Pi Day of 2019 or March the 14th. The vision of the project is to create an accessible cryptocurrency targeting smartphone users. In 2021, about 48.33% of the people in the world have a smartphone, and this means that Pi could potentially reach about 3.8 billion people around the world. Pi is different from other cryptocurrencies because it targets the people who benefit the most from this technology. For instance, most people were never able to mine Bitcoin. This is because mining can cost several thousand dollars along with energy costs and also a deep knowledge of the mining process, which many people do not possess. And since the launch of the Pi network back in 2019, the project has over 15,000 miners as of today and some estimate that Pi could potentially have over 30 million people by the end of this year. What I can say so far is Pi is already one of the most popular cryptocurrencies in the world, and I think the success of the token is largely due to a couple of reasons. The founders of Pi are exceptionally educated and have a professional background that is unmatched by other cryptocurrencies. Earning Pi is essentially risk-free, and there's not a lot of other cryptocurrencies like it. And lastly, mining Pi is extremely simple. All you need to do is sign up and download the app from the App Store. You can see that the creators of Pi are all high-functioning and also high-achieving individuals. For instance, Dr. Fang was a founder of Mirrored Hub, which is a Chrome extension that helps people send email to multiple people at once. She also earned a PhD in Computational Anthropology from Stanford University. Similarly, Dr. Kakalis also earned a PhD from Stanford, and he was one of the founding members in Stardex. Stardex is a non-for-profit entrepreneurial community that has launched a lot of smart projects. And lastly, Vince McPhillip, who is no longer associated with the project due to personal conflicts with the other members, both attended Yale and Stanford. And he worked for an NGO consulting company called Bridgespan. Apart from this, I think the selling point of the network is a risk-free model behind Pi, or basically no one's going to lose money because of Pi tokens. And when you talk about the project online, you'll hear people speculating about the true motivation behind the project. Is this a data mining scam? Or is this a project that's actually trying to create a cryptocurrency? And after researching about this company, there's currently no evidence that the whole thing is a scam. Here's a legal document about the company, and I'll leave more information down below for anybody who's interested. But from this document, you will see that the Pi Community Company, or the business that operates the network, is a Cayman Island company. And as such, the company complies with KYC, AML, and CTF laws that make sure that you're a real person and you're not doing anything sketchy. This also means that people won't be able to set up multiple accounts and my Pi for multiple phones. You can take a look at some of the information here, but this document is available to the public. And even though the document was available because of a civil lawsuit between Vince and the other two members, it still provides us with insider information about the project. As far as we know about the project today, no one has really lost money because of the project. No one has had their information stolen or leaked, and no one has lost a significant amount of time mining Pi. For me personally, mining Pi is something that I do every day when I see a notification on my phone. And I don't spend a lot of time thinking about the platform unless I'm doing a video about it. And honestly, I think this is what it should be for a lot of people who want to get involved with the Pi Network. This should be a stress-free experience and not something that consumes your life. One other thing that you should know is that mining Pi is not really what's happening in the backgrounds. All the Pi that will ever be in circulation have already been pre-mined. And in this case, every time you press a button, you're simply earning Pi from the pool of pre-mined tokens. This whole thing is actually a pretty straightforward process, and I'll show you guys how this whole thing works. All you need to do is go on the Apple or the Google Store and download the app for yourself. Make sure to download the official Pi Network app. And once the app is on your smartphone, you're going to begin entering your personal information. And make sure what you're entering is correct because you're going to have to verify your information later on. And if you're unable to verify your information, then you're not going to be able to receive your tokens. And after this page, you're going to use someone else's invitation code. You can use the invitation code Magic Tuna, which is my code, but you can also use someone else's if you want to. Once you finish the setup process, all you do now is to verify your account and also press a button every 24 hours. So far, there's probably Pi community members who have been with the project since the very beginning or close to about 850 days as I'm making this video right now. However, I think these people are probably the minority since a ton of people have either abandoned the project altogether or moved on to other ones. The creators of this project have given us an estimate of how long things will take for the official start to begin. 
and it looks like things will be done officially by the end of this year. I don't think anyone including the developers here know exactly how much the price of a token will be when it launches. However, I have seen speculation videos from a couple of dollars all the way up to a couple hundred dollars. More recently, I've even seen projects trying to create future contracts on Pi. This basically allows people to gamble on the price of Pi even before the token is released. This is a speculative market, but it does give us a glimpse in what the price of Pi could potentially be in the future. Nevertheless, we'll never really know until the real Pi actually comes out. All I can say for sure is that the value is likely to be more than nothing. The token has some sort of value in the future, especially since they'll have a marketplace for Pi and that marketplace will sell goods and services. The value of Pi will depend on how people decide to trade the token in the future. As long as there's someone out there willing to pay $100 for a single piece of Pi token, there will be a chance for that token to reach the price. I personally think that the token will range from a couple cent all the way up to a dollar and this is due to multiple reasons. For instance, even though Pi has a massive supply, that doesn't really matter in a lot of cases. Cryptocurrencies like Doge and Ethereum have seen massive jumps in price regardless of their unlimited supply. About 18 million Ethereum tokens can be minted each year and about 5.2 billion Doge coins can also be minted during that same period. Therefore, I think the success of Pi will really depend on how the token is marketed and also the overall demand for the token. I think the platform already has a huge following and it's interesting to see exactly what will happen in the future. The success of the network will really depend on how much you're willing to pay for the token. And luckily for this app, most people only have a small amount of this token, meaning that they might be more cautious about selling their tokens for a lot less money. All in all, if you want to take away anything from this project, know that Pi doesn't really take any money from you. There's virtually no risk associated with the project, and no one can really confidently tell you how much the token will eventually be worth. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe, and thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to check out some of the free offers below at no cost to you, and I'll see you guys again next time.